Hey kids, we're here at the Wingate Art School in the Flex Studio, and I'm here with Flurfy, and today we're going to be talking about printmaking. Mm -hmm. Do you know what printmaking is, Flurfy? <laughs> Uh, well, printmaking is a way of making art repeatable. And so we make uh, what's called a plate, and then we can repeat the image over and over again. You might have seen printmaking used in different places in your everyday life. You might have seen uh, it used on a t-shirt that you have at home. Anytime you see an image printed on a t-shirt, that's done with silkscreen. It's just a different type of printmaking. Or you might have seen a newspaper or a magazine, and a lot of times newspapers and magazines also use printmaking. Here at the Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts, we have a large collection of fine arts prints. And so that's artists who created special pieces of artwork and then we're able to print those special pieces of artwork many, many times. Okay, so Flurfy, are you ready to make your own print? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, before we get started, we're gonna need some things to create our print with. Okay, and we're gonna be doing Lego letterpress, so we're gonna first need a Lego backer board. We're going to need some Lego tiles. What? Yeah, they're kind of these little flat pieces of Lego and they're all the same height. And that's kind of important when we go to make our print. Uh, you're gonna need a brayer. And a brayer is just a fancy tool that lets us spread our ink evenly over the top of our printing plate, right? You're gonna need some block printing ink. But if you don't have block printing ink, you could use acrylic paint and a paintbrush to paint on your Legos, or you could even use just a regular old marker to color over the top of your Legos, and that will also make an impression. I also have this uh, board here that we're gonna spread our ink on so we don't get it all over the table. But again, you don't really need that. You can use a piece of paper if you have to. We're also going to need what we call a registration paper. And this shows us exactly where to put our printing plate and exactly where to put our paper. All right, Flurfy, uh, first thing you're gonna need is your Lego backer board or your printing plate. And then we're going to need some Legos. And I'm gonna put some here so you can choose the ones you need for your design. All right, Flurfy, let's see what you got. Oh, wow, a paw print. I love it. Awesome, this is gonna be great. All right, Flurfy, so the next thing we have to do is put our ink on to our uh, inking block here, okay? I'm gonna take just a little bit of the ink out and I'm gonna just spread it at the very top. Now, we're gonna take the brayer and I'm going to spread out some of this beautiful pink ink. So see how we've started to get a really even coat here? That's exactly what we want. And now that we have an even coat on our brayer, we can then start to put it onto our Legos. All right, so we're gonna take your paw and we're gonna put it just right there with me and we're just gonna slowly start to roll over our design here. And I know it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of ink on there, but it's just enough to make the best possible print. Let's put it right there in the middle and then this outside line is gonna show us where we wanna put our paper to make our print in the middle of our paper, okay? I'm gonna scoot it just a little closer to you like that and then you're gonna help me press down and we're gonna rub and rub and rub until, all right, are you ready to see it? <laughs> I'm going to take it right off of there like that and look, you have your print. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys had fun today following along with me and Flurfy in the Wingate Art School at the Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts. Hope to see you soon. Bye, friends. <laughs>